Hey, I'm Tomasz from Polygon Flow. In this video, I will walk you through the physics tools in Dash or Unreal Engine plugin that helps you build environments quickly and easily. We will cover how to drop, paint and make a proper mess with assets in just a few clicks. So let's jump in. I'm here in the Quickstall junkyard scene, which I cleaned up a bit before starting. First, I click on the Dash icon to open the Dash toolbar. Here in my scene, there's a car wheel mesh. I'd like to scatter it across the ground. I select the wheel, click on the place option in the dash toolbar and choose physics drop. The mesh instantly drops to the ground, but sometimes it might fall through the mesh below it. Let's fix that quickly. While we're still in physics mode, let's select the ground mesh and click on collision in the physics toolbar, then choose the complex option. Now, if I run the physics drop again, the mesh stays on the surface as expected. Let's duplicate it a few times. All the instances fall and scatter on the ground automatically. If I'm not happy with how some of them are placed, I just select those and use the jitter option to re-simulate their drop. As you can see, I can push them around and the others react to it. This lets me manually arrange them on the surface. But this only works while I'm still inside the physics drop simulation. If I exit the simulation, this interaction stops. But no worries, if I want to adjust them later, I can just open physics drop again. Now let's look at the physics paint tool. You don't have to use only actors from the scene. You can also scatter models from your libraries. Here in the Dash content browser, I can access my downloaded Quixel models. You can also get full access to the Polyhaven library, the IS library, your fab models, and of course your own assets and blueprints. If you are interested in learning more about the content browser, we've made a dedicated tutorial. You can find the link down below. Now I select a few models and drag them into the scene by holding down Ctrl. Then I choose the physics paint option. While holding down the middle mouse button, I can gently move and adjust the pile I created. If I also hold Ctrl, I can push the instances apart. Holding Shift plus the middle mouse button lets me change the brush size. As you can see, the painted instances react to the dropped ones. You can also tweak the brush settings directly in the Dash Physics bar, alongside with a few other useful features. The clear button removes all scattered instances with one click. The count slider controls how many objects you paint at once. You can even use the brush to erase assets from the scene. When painting, you can choose between realistic, random or locked orientation modes, depending on how you want the meshes to behave. I can also duplicate painted actors if needed. While dropping or painting objects, if some happen to fall way down in the world, we automatically cool them. And finally, let me show you a few useful tricks. First, I select my mesh again and enable simulate physics in the details panel. Now, in play mode, I will be able to interact with it. I duplicate the mesh a few times to make a pile. To jitter the whole pile at once, I just click select and Rash grabs all my dropped assets for me. And now, with the reset option, I can re-simulate the entire drop in one click. All of these instances come from the same original mesh. And since physics simulation is enabled, I can now interact with them in play mode. Let's tweak the weight of the mesh a bit for more realistic results. I will try setting the mesh to 100 kg. One really great use case of the physics tool is that you can convert your rubble pile to a static mesh, then enable Nanite on it and start scattering it 
or use it anywhere as its own individual object. I select the pile, then choose Big Instances from the Dash toolbar. Now I can delete the original simulated version and only the baked individual meshes remain in the scene. Then with your individual meshes selected, run Merge Actors to create a new static mesh actor. And here it is. Now I can enable the night on the mesh. If I select the surface scatter option from the dash toolbar, I can add the rubble pie mesh using the plus icon and set the ground as the surface. Sometimes, when you drag a model into the scene and try to scatter onto it with a physics tool, the scattered meshes float above the model. This is related to collision. While still in physics mode, simply double-click on the problematic mesh, click on collision on the toolbar, and select the complex option. So that's a quick look at the Dash physics tools. How to drop, paint, and simulate assets fast and interactively. If you want to learn more, check out our tutorials on the Dash content browser and procedural scattering. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.